Why, hello. So, today I'm not at work because I'm getting surgery to get rid of this cyst here in my chest. You can see it. It's huge. And um, sometimes it smells like if I'm laying and like my boobs are squeezing and I get up. I remember one time getting up, going into my closet. Like, I went to my closet just to pick stuff out, get ready for the day. And I was like, you know how when your clothes don't dry properly or if you leave them in the washer too long or something, it has that real nasty smell to it? That's what mine's chest, this thing smells like. And it's got to go. It has got to go. So that's what I'll be doing today. Um, I called off of work because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. Most likely after getting stabbed and cut and sewed back together, I don't think I'm going to want to go to work today. Or to even be bothered, to be honest. Look at my nails. Ah, I need a fill. But I don't know if I'm going to get a fill or if I'm going to take them off because I'm tired I'm being a, I'm starting to get annoyed oh yeah I'm starting to get annoyed so I think that I'm just gonna guys oh my god I'm so excited so I have started my weight loss journey when my husband left and um I took a couple pictures I posted them on Facebook and I was like weight loss journey started when I started my weight loss journey I was 220 pounds I know right I'm only 5'3 that was just like too much and I still got a little like double chin but this double chin was crazy it was crazy I got a lot of loose skin now too if you guys have any um suggestions of natural things to tighten your skin I was just fat in the face um but today when I weighed myself this morning I weighed 191 so almost 30 pounds yay and I'm gonna have to take more um pictures so I can show you guys you know that it's I'm losing weight. It's working, you know. Don't mind my face. I have no makeup on. And I'm actually... I'm at the dermatologist. And I really don't want to get this done. I hope there's not going to be a scar. But I'd rather have a scar than have this shit on my chest. And, you know, like when you cuddle with the guy and you get on top of him and you hug him. I don't want him smelling that. You know, like, it's got to go. I don't know where the hell it came from. I went to the den um, a dermatologist before, previously. And he gave me a shot of some medicine that made it go down. But it came back. So, now I'm just going to have surgery to get it removed. But anyways, I'm going to go because people are looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm in the car talking to myself. And I'll be back after the procedure. Hey, you guys, I'm just waiting for the doctors to come in, but I'm in my gown, and I'm nervous, but um, I'll see you guys after we get done with the procedure.